Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. My name is Derek Ray and sitting next to me here on the commentary gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham United midfield man Stuart Robson. And we've got potentially exciting league action coming up on the menu for you. It is Nottingham Forest against Tranmere Rovers. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. Number 16, Sam Surridge. And here's how Nottingham Forest will line up. Well, it's a defensive lineup, that's for sure. But their wing backs and at least one of their midfield players will need to break forward when they regain possession, just to give them a threat going forward. Thank you, enjoy the game. And the match begins. Samson. Well, a good tackle. Mark. Oh, this is looking promising. Must score! Well, he's missed the chance, and the keeper didn't have to do very much. Getting forward. But quick thinking defensively. Well, you never quite know who's going to dominate a game in advance, but I think you can maybe make an argument for this fellow, Stuart. What do you think we'll see from him today? Well, he's the most creative player on the field. He can run with the ball, he can get himself out of tight situations, he can see a pass, he's very creative with his play. I think he's going to be the outstanding player today. Aboniyi. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Jarvis. The cross is on. To jump in front. Oh, keeper dealt with it. Right, a goal update to bring you from the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. That means we join Alex. Yeah, it's a goal for Arsenal. They've scored the opener here with 12 minutes played. Many thanks, Alex. Must be a goal on the back of sustained pressure. Now they deservedly hold the advantage. Well, here's another look, and you can see what a good finish this is. He holds off the defender brilliantly and keeps his composure. That's a great goal. One nil then. Sam Surridge. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? Surely! Can they put it away? He's blocked it! Well, the keeper deserves a lot of credit. That was a fine save, wasn't it?
Abonigi. Oh, he's really opened them up here. Misfiring completely. Yeah, he's gone for power, but the contact was never right. It's a poor effort, really. Well, they couldn't keep it. Well, a goal update for you in the Newcastle game. Let's hear all about it from Alex. And it's a goal for Newcastle United. It was a low-driven cross into a crowded area, but he was there from close range to finish that move off. They're the first on the score sheet here with 23 minutes played. Alex, thank you very much. And the timing was perfect. Ball one. options available and credit is due for that good piece of defending Abonigi it's with Orel Mongala just the challenge that was required And out of play for a forest throw. Let's just clarify the injury situation. Our man on the side of the pitch is Jeff Shreves. It's going to take a while to see how bad this injury is because he got trodden on in that last challenge. So his foot is definitely a bit sore. Cheers, Jeff. Well, just a warning on this occasion. Might have decided to hand out the yellow card. Plenty of support here. And gobbled up with ease by the keeper. Well, they've created very little in the game so far. Unless they can show more guile in that top third of the field, this is going to be a really disappointing day for them. They need to improve, and quickly. Yes, their creative struggles continue. They need more possession. No hiding from the fact that they really should have extended their lead. Well, that was a poor miss. Could they come to regret that? It did look on for them, but not to be. Tackle completely mistimed, and you would expect a booking under the circumstances. And that is going to mean a caution. The referee is absolutely right. He knew what he was doing there. And he whips it in. Well, thumps clear. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. They need to get bodies back. All in all, a broken counter-attack. Dangerous-looking attack. Options in the centre. It has to be! A really sound goalkeeping. Well, that's such a good save, isn't it? How did he keep that one out? They favoured a short one here. Well, he couldn't quite hit the target, Stuart. Well, it's a decent effort, but I don't think it was ever going to trouble the goalkeeper.
So two minutes of stoppage time here. And Nottingham Forest throw coming up. Lingard. Surridge. Abonigi. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. And with that, the attack fizzles out. And a scoring update to bring you from the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Who has found the net? Alex Scott. It's a second goal for Spurs. They've pulled one back and now trail by one with 47 minutes played. Thanks for the update, Alex. Lingard, can they cover up? And he gobbles up the second chance. Disappointment for the keeper. No wonder he's asking questions of his defence. Well, the initial save is a good one, as you can see, but unfortunately it drops straight to an opponent. A bit unlucky, really. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. Not showing good defensive judgment. Sam Surridge. And the ball back with Nottingham Forest here. Is it going to end up being productive for them? Must take the lead here. Oh, but he's missed it. How on earth is this still level? Well, I just don't know, Derek. Just a real lack of composure in the end. They should be ahead now. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. And Forrest will get the throw in. Abonigi there to take it away well space if he goes inside and the penalty is given the referee right on the spot and now a chance for them to take the lead here well, he's avoided a booking, but the complaints continue. And I can understand why. I think it's a poor foul. It should be a yellow card for me. This to see them take the lead once again. And not to be! Over the bar with that attempt! Well, I think he's planted his foot too far away from the ball. 
so he's almost reaching for it. That's why it's gone over the bar. And they're making a change. And beating the defender. Well, it could be on for him here. And denied by the keeper. Impressive. Aboniyi. Now Lingard. It looks promising. But in the crowd, they want to see him take on the shot. Great chance to make it a brace. But the keeper had his say. Well, he has to get a second goal soon. He's been brilliant today. Can someone get on the end of this? Well, good clean catch by the keeper. They've regained possession. A good and fair challenge. Now can they counter clinically? Defenders need to cover. Now showing excellent judgment to intercept. Oh, skipping away. Out of play it goes, and it will be a throw in. Niakate doesn't want to give it away here. Mongala. Surridge. Jesse Lingard. And the flag does go up. Must have been close. Well read to win possession back. Lingard. Oh, what an opportunity! Couldn't beat the keeper, unfortunately for him. Well, I think that's a bad miss. He just never looked convincing as he went through there. So, a personnel change then. Well, you can't argue with those stats, can you? We've had good chances at both ends. The game is being played with great intensity, and it's been a pleasure to watch. Just knocking it around, looking to carve out a chance. Toffolo. Aboniyi. And unable to keep possession. And the pass could do damage. Will it be? And the keeper nowhere to be found. Not that he's complaining. Well, here it is again. It's an easy finish in the end, but what was the keeper thinking? That's a poor bit of defending. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? 
Surridge. How can they find a late leveller? Right, I'm hearing something important has happened in the West Ham game, and Alex Scott has the details. It's another goal for West Ham United. They're back in this now with 85 minutes played. Alex, thank you very much. Showing a lot of guile there. And brave goalkeeping to deal with the danger. Well, he had to get that right, didn't he? That's good goalkeeping. Jesse Lingard. Aboniyi. Clean challenge. And he's made headway. Well, you've got to... Oh, that's a penalty. The referee didn't hesitate. And are they going to be able to hang on to their lead? And into the book he goes too. Well, once he gave the penalty, he was always going to give him a yellow card. <laughs> Chance to equalise here. And the spot kick is converted as calmly as you like. Well, let's just look at that again. It's a matter of inches from missing. His heart must have been in his mouth there. And level again here. This has been quite the roller coaster ride. Still pushing for a winner. And with that, the attack fizzles out. And that is that, full time here and a draw. The two teams couldn't be separated. What did you make of the visitors' performance?